Hey developers, so in this mini video series, we're going to see how to create our own in-browser code editor, similar to what sites such as the MDN documentation and JSBin have. So if you've watched uh, my previous videos, such as the knowledge coalescing or the optional chaining videos, you can see that I've done the same technique to demonstrate some examples. So like you can see here, um, you can just type in some code and, and it will show on the console. So, but for this video series, the goal here is to replicate what the MDN documentation has. So now if you look at the, the site for MDN, as one example here, the documentation for optional chaining, you can see that they have a code editor here that lets us just run uh, any code that we want. So they use this to show an example of optional chaining. And if you run it, you get undefined and undefined. So this right here is what we are going to replicate. This design, the functionality, uh, everything about it. So it's useful, uh, very useful for sites that, for example, MDN is a prime example where you can just, the users can just interact um, with the code. They don't have to open up their own code editor to run to type in the code and run it. So if you have your own website, maybe a portfolio or a blog, you can use this as well. So this is the final product that we're gonna come with. And it looks pretty similar to the MDN and the functionality is all the same. So if we just type in some code here, uh, we can run it. And you say, hey developers, we can reset some code or we can change the code, anything we want. And if you run this again, it will just update the code. So a pretty basic introduction of what we're going to achieve in this series. So if this video um, series sounds interesting to you, stay tuned to find out how we can make this. And I'll catch you in the next video.